And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Teemo Dreadway, going to be our next donation deck today. This one's a lot of fun where we are going to be playing another Teemo deck where we're going to be trying to give our opponents puff caps, but pairing that with Bilgewater, all of these good Bilgewater cards, and the Dreadway. The Dreadway doubles all damage dealt by your skills, spells, and allies, and that's going to be important because um, that does count the poison puff caps. So whenever they draw a puff cap, they take one damage, but with the Dreadway in, in play, it doubles that. So each puff cap they draw deals two damage, so that can kill people super fast. Um, so that's what we're going to have. We're going to have a, um, kind of like a control deck with Bilgewater, PNZ, and try to finish people out with uh, puff caps. Um, let's see. Of course, we're going to have Gangplanks to go along with the Dreadway, and just Powder Kegs in general is going to be kind of a, a big part of our deck. So we're going to have um, Powder Kegs in here with that, with Petty Off, with Dread, with a Gangplank, with Petty Officer, with Dreadway Deckhand, and all the Powder Kegs make cards like Make It Rain and Static Shock a lot better. But then also just help out other things, you know, like our Mystic Shots, our Parlays, Thermogenic Beam, all of that kind of stuff. Uh, let's see, we got one Smooth Soloist in here because this deck is really, really mana intensive. As you can see, three 9 drops, three 8 drops, um, plus a good amount of card draw with, with Spray Fin, Static Shock, Salvage, Chump Womp, lots of 4s. And so just like, the the deck like has a lot of ways that it wants to be spending mana, and so we have one Smooth Soloist in here to reduce the cost of our allies by two to make it easier to play a lot of stuff. Of course, we're going to be a Puff Cat Peddler deck to go along with the Chump Wumps and everything as well. Uh, should be an exciting one to play. I always love playing Teemo decks, and this looks like a pretty fun one. So let's go ahead and uh, play our five games. We're going to play them in Ranked, and let's have some fun. All right, looks like we're going to be playing against Tom Kench Soraka to start with. And I do, I do like this matchup. They they're gonna have like the you know like Star Spring is gonna be the thing that we're scared of. Just like we talked about yesterday when playing Teemo decks, they usually they are slow at killing us and they draw a lot of cards. So that's both of those are good things for Puff Caps. Now let's see. Let's mulligan these two. Static Shock, probably not going to kill a whole lot of stuff. Even... Just think about keeping, like, Gangplank with, like, the Gangplank, um, getting the Powder Keg. And then having that with the Static Shock, but I think that's going to be a little slow. So I know I could play the Mega Rain to kill it, but then the Mega Rain would deal a damage to the Star Shepherd, which would allow them to heal the Star Shepherd, and I don't really want that to happen. And no, I do not want Pell Cascade to block and kill my Peddler. Peddler, important. Everyone here? Let's go. Hmm. That card's good against Puff Caps. Like a fish in water. <laughs> I know. I'll protect you. Riptide Rex. Gotta go with the flow. Hop to it, Ely. Round up those stars. T don't tell me what to do. So attacking just helps them out with the broadback protector taking the damage. I feel better than you feel better. So when they would play something, uh, this attack may have been just a really bad idea. So Bastion and Astral Protection both stop this. But uh, Okay, cool. They grow up so fast. I'm still good to scrap. Be nothing left when I'm done. Ah! 
should have stayed home, pal. Should have stayed home, pal. Cool. Yeah. Challenge that powder keg. Please, no astral protection. Okay, that's good. Because that's not that's not astral protection, so that's definitely good. And they're drawing more cards, which means they're gonna have less cards for all these puff caps to go on to. So that is also good. Get him spray thin. Yep. That's alright. It's gonna happen, I suppose. Love the chump bump draw, though. Oh, I hate that, though. But the good thing is they don't have Star Spring in play, right? Like, Star Spring would be the card that I'd be really scared of. With no Star Spring, it's no big deal that they're healing all of this. Like, yeah, like, no Star Spring, I'm not worried at all. Because that's... That's going to be the one card that can kill me. So, unfortunately, I did not draw a Puff Cap to turn on at Riptide Rex. So, no, like, that's... Yeah, I wanted to give them all the Puff Caps so then they would draw the Puff Caps so and then I would Riptide Rex, but... Of course, we drew another Peddler, which made playing all those Puff Caps worse. I'll protect you. And also, just in general, like, the... If you're going to give your opponent 20 Puff Caps kind of better to do it earlier in the game because it gives them more opportunity to draw cards and draw them. But yeah, no no Star Spring means they can't really win. So they had no champion and no Star Spring. Let's see what we're facing next. We're facing some Fearsome. Fearsome with Targon. This is uh, this could be good for Petty Officer. Ooh. Mega Rain could be great if we get Something with powder kegs. You know, we have the gangplank already, but something else with powder keg. Obviously, I don't want any of the nine mana cards. So we want to find like Dreadway Duckhand or Petty Officer. Hmm. I'm gonna wait till next turn and, and play Mega Rain next turn to kill this and do one damage to something else. Gangplank's just, you know, it's a great blocker against Fearsome, and it's just, it's gonna help me win games. And everything. Being a 5-5, five five, it, it can attack, put a lot of pressure on him. It's just a great card. Alright, so now that Mistwraith will die to my other part of uh, Static Shock. has worked out for my plan so far. Put on me mask, secure me tail, start the day. Okay, we're gonna put on me mask, secure me tail, and start the day. I'll see if that's what what his other quote was. That Wraith Caller card's pretty good.
This is classic. You know, team Teemo struggles against real aggressive deck. Yeah, never know what hit him. It's classic. Like I could like I don't really want to like block this Mist Wraith and they play another one of like the Mist Wraith things that turned it into a 5 2. Okay, Mystic Shot's good. Okay, so I want to shoot this, shoot those, block here, block here. So that's going to be me staying at three. If they kill my powder keg, I, I lose. But it's just the chance I'm willing to take. Because, you know, we need to need to take chances here to try to win this game. Oh, wow, opponent. You're, you're really good. You beat a Teemo deck. <laughs> With your Pearson deck. Congratulations. You're really good at this game. All right, one and one. This isn't the end. Okay, back to an aggressive Bannerman deck. So probably Bannerman Zed. That's what I'm guessing here. Okay, I, I'm sorry. I was kind of doing the prediction thing. I didn't really have time to set up. Didn't really have time to mulligan. I, I'm glad to see the Petty Officer. I wanted to see a Powder Keg for Mega Rain, because, you know, they're going to have Lucian, Zed, they're going to have things. It's oh, gosh, it's a, it's a Battlesmith deck? One way to test With those? This is good. I, I wanted Powder Keg. Might as well get that. I mean, I guess I could go Dreadway Deckhand, and it makes it less obvious. Then we play and Make It Rain. Pledge yourself to the shadows. Okay, I'll take it. I will take it. Didn't hit the Battlesmith, but we got the Zed. I guess I could have attacked first and see if they would have blocked. Then I for sure would have gotten rid of both of the other things. Sturdy blades, custom made. Um. Store the Russians, shackle the prisoners. There's a chill in the air. No room for doubt. We have a good attack. Right here, attacking for eight. I want to do that before they, you know, play some elite that gets the plus two, plus two. Even though I know I could play a gang plank, I think this is still just a good attack. Hands are for forging, not fighting. Right. I've always got your back. Don't worry about me. Like a fish in water. <laughs> Partly. All right, gonna need powder cake for that. Just the thing for you. Yes, please attack with that. So my six. Make them for the shelf. Who's that you got there? You picked the losing side. Well, there was a little fella asking for me. Virtue guides me. You didn't know the boss is so free. Don't know much, do ya? Well, that's not great. Who 
This Radiant Guardian isn't going to be the easiest to outrace. Let's get that leveled up Teemo. <laughs> Try to strike them with leveled up Teemo. Obviously, I can't really handle any kind of fight spell or sharp side or anything like that. Um, but if we can double their puff caps, then uh, um, you know, then it's likely that they draw a puff cap this next turn, and then I get to Riptide Rex. Plus, maybe they draw four. They're gonna have 38 out of 29. So, on average, they should be drawing one, but you never know, maybe they draw four. Zero. Zero was the wrong number. You will be scoured from this land. Seize control. Shadows cut deep as any weapon. Uh, let's see. Go block, block. Oh, I'm at three. Or at six, I mean. I'm at six, I can't. Just take it all. Um... Who else wants to block? I'm a peddler, not a meddler. Yeah, I'm, I'm planning on Mystic Shotting my Dreadway deck and. Why are you here? They could have Judgment. Be kind of mean. Can I take one of these? Probably not gonna have an additional three points of damage, right? If I take one of them. Really hope no judgment. Okay, cool. Have a mushroom. Have three. I've heard about you. Oh no. <laughs> Tiana. Oh. Banish the unworthy. Well, got super punished for doing that with the Mystic Shot instead of just like killing one of their thing, you know, killing like their Zed. Yes. Oh, I love that challenge. That's the worst challenge ever, but uh, it still doesn't matter because <laughs> they shouldn't challenge at all. But I guess it doesn't matter. It's still me taking exactly lethal. Oh, that's so close. GGS. Man, what a yeah, good rally. All right, I guess I should not have the bad Mystic shot. Okay, playing against Draven Ezreal. Yeah, that was really unfortunate how that that worked out. I would have just Mystic shot them and then cast Riptide Rex. That would have worked. So many things would have worked. Okay, Draven Ezreal. Draven Ezreal kills Teemo really easily. Mulligan that. Let's mulligan our eight mana card. Um, I'll keep Dreadway Deckhand. Yeah, I'll keep that. I'm not sure about that one. The Peddler is an obvious keep. Like, the Peddler is like our best card. I don't want to waste my mana. I also don't really want to play Peddler into uh, looks like removal spell. Jump on. 
I guess I gotta block with the peddler. Best run while you can. Playing it right now to be able to give them the pup caps. I know I can take four, but I don't like taking any damage against this Draven Ezreal deck. They have so much Nexus damage in their deck. Mystic shot. Don't blink, or you'll miss me. And Ezreal's mystic shot. Firing. Oh, maybe I should actually. I probably should have mystic shot. Oh yes, I should have. I should have mystic shot my own thing to just get rid of that Ezreal, shouldn't I? Okay, so I can either mystic shot plus parlay to kill this thing. For three mana, or I spend five on the Thermogenic Beam. I think I do the two cards. And do it for three mana. Because with having these salvages in hand, this extra two mana can be really important. And now I still... So I still get to keep Thermogenic Beam to kill another Ezreal. They have another one. Have a mushroom. Have three. R R. Would a mushroom help? There they go. I like that we're still at twenty. All right, good. We found our first chump lump. Oh, that's a harvest right there. Planning on playing Teemo this turn. Teemo probably going to die. But I don't have like a better option. I don't think. Yeah, like this is the kind of matchup that, that I like facing more, right? A slower deck, but their deck can be pretty aggressive, so it's been good for us. They haven't been super aggressive. They're, they've drawn a lot of cards, so they have less and less cards for these puff caps. You know, they just played, you know, Rummage, Static Shock, that kind of stuff this turn. Didn't draw, haven't drawn a single puff cap yet. But it's it's almost like I I don't want like I don't really want them drawing puff caps right now. I want them drawing puff caps after Dreadway. Like right now, this would have been a good turn for them to draw puff. You know, like they draw puff cap, I go Riptide Rex. So Dreadway just trades with Captain Farron. Or I spend, but it costs so much mana to play Thermogenic Beam. Now, I don't, I, I can't really take seven overwhelm damage, I don't think. Well, maybe I can. Actually, yeah, maybe I can. Yeah, actually I can. I can take seven overwhelm damage. Because then they can't, then they can't block my Dreadway. So I go down to 10. I don't I don't want Dreadway to die to like the things like whenever it, you know, if it's taken damage. I don't want to die to like those things like Nocturne Guillotine and stuff like that. Well, that didn't work out.
Draw up puff cap. Thank you. Finally. <laughs> Come on. Can't kill the house fighter also? Well, that's a lot of a lot of Nexus damage. Put them down to four. Yeah, that's that's really too bad that I couldn't kill the house spider also for the blocker here for the Riptide Rex. Is obviously they're gonna just have yeah, they're just gonna have guillotine. <sighs> yeah, that, that's really too bad. Like if if just like one of those hit the house spider, you know, like we're looking golden. I guess it's better for me if they want to cast Guillotine to kill the Riptide Rex, then they're not casting a Decimate. So that's probably good for me. Oh my gosh! Really? That's the 2-drop they get? Must be nice. Speaking of must be nice, I did draw a Riptide Rex. And there we go! Okay, 2-2. Two two. What a close game. So close. We had kind of a bunch of bad luck happen right before, but then a great draw with the Riptide Rex to make, up, make all up for it. And we'll take the victory. Alright, Leona Diana. So playing against Invoke. Unfortunately, like Invoke, whenever you draw a card, or like whenever Invoke, like they create the Celestials, they're not drawing cards with, you know, with the Puff Caps. I want them to draw cards. Um, but I like, so definitely like Teemo in the opener, like Chump Wump. Um, Petty Officer plus Parley looks kind of cool too. I think I'm gonna just keep that. Turn three, go Petty Officer plus Parley. Cause they're gonna have like the two twos and the three twos, right? Like the Daybreak cards. Transgressions. And so I like how Parlay kills like the 2-2, two -two, the 3-2, that kind of stuff. With Powder Keg. They forced us to choose death or the blade. Just kill this thing though. If I want to take some extra damage, I can get Puff Cap with it. Sure, I'll take a little extra damage. Ooh, I hope they grab the 2-1 challenger. And my parlay just kills the 2-1 challenger. Here's where I'd paint my constellation. Have a mushroom. Have three. I've heard about you. Darn. So unfortunately, they have um, they have Pale Cascade. That's what that attack means. So they're probably deciding, do I use Pale Cascade to save this thing or not? Okay. Which I'm, of course, happy with that. You've always been a fun guy. I actually don't want them to draw the puff cap right there because I want to be able to double more puff caps. The dawn has arrived. Carry her light across the mountain. <laughs> you know, we're doubling 15 now. If they didn't draw the puff cap, we'd be doubling 16. Not really that big a deal. I can go thermo for zero <laughs> to get six more puff caps. My faith protects me. Let's try this.
I'm down to four. Now I went down to five. Alright, double that up to 80. So gang that should be the fourth, or that's the third. So yeah, three for Gangplank. Basically just our attack turns. And then I'm just going to be getting a powder keg here. Because, you know, I don't have room for another unit. But I just want to have like blockers across the board. And now on like their attack turn, I can go static shock for three. To the <laughs> Drew five puff gaps. <laughs> this will be close. All right, cool. I like this. Let's do three damage to both of these. Cool. Want to protect against Pale Cascade. Basically, like, if, if they don't kill me here, I know I could have gone the three damage upstairs, but if they don't kill me, I am pretty confident in winning this game. So I'm pretty confident in winning, of being able to get 8 damage before their next attack turn. GG's. I don't think they're going to have Judgment, being in Demacy. I mean, I guess they could have Ruination. Because they could just go Ruination here. Nope. Bask in her radiant blessing. Burn. Okay. They're not dead yet. All right, a hundred and fifty four puff caps. Seventy seven times two. Your four. Not enough. Not enough. Keep up, keep up. I'm a peddler, not a meddler. This is going to be close. Just got him. Just got him. They could have had, you know, like the healer Nexus 5 again. That's what I was scared of. But yeah, I guess I could have Mystic Shot them during their turn. It was greedy. It was greedy, but. Didn't cost us. Alright, Teemo Dreadway. That was fun. It's so exciting, uh, it's so rewarding to be winning uh, with Teemo and, and the puff caps and everything like that. Like that. And it's so exciting of like, will you know like will they die to the puff caps? So 
It's always so close. All right, so there we go. There's Teemo Dreadway. Definitely fun to play, and I like the changes that, that we made since the last time. Uh, we put in those petty officers. Those petty officers were awesome. Like, they were really clutch, and a lot of them just, you know, getting the bodies out there to be able to block, keep the games going longer, getting the powder kegs, which were really nice. So really liked petty officer. Uh, we didn't get to draw smooth soloist, but I do, I do like the idea of smooth soloist with how expensive all the cards in our decks are and, like, and... Uh, make all those allies cost two less. I think that could be really good. You know, like we we didn't really run out of cards. Like a lot of those games, like we still had just like more cards in hand, um, but we didn't have the mana to cast everything all the time. So I liked it. Teemo decks are really fun, and this one did better than our uh, Teemo Sejuani deck that we played yesterday. Did a lot better, um, and uh, thanks to the Bilgewater cards. So. All right, there we go. That's Timo Dreadway. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I would appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.